All right, I have some big news regarding The Last of Us 2. Uh, beloved actor has died, and uh, there's some interesting Michael Keaton Batman news. Welcome to the newest episode of SDW. Super Dario World! It's a me, Dario! Woohoo! <laughs> All right, all right, all right. I'm back. I'm back. It looks like I'm just going to be taking Mondays off from now on because it's uh, I can never find time to do the podcast. <laughs> I get too busy. I get too... I, I can't even talk anymore. Busy. I get too busy. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, apparently I'm doing doubles on Monday now. I'll try. I'll try. But um, I spent the weekend uh, playing Last of Us 2. Oh, well sometime in the weekend by the way any comments questions or suggestions you can find me at Dario the show on instagram or at super Dario period world um also follow my facebook page super Dario world i update everything there so spend the weekend playing it i'm not ready to do a review yet i, th- I don't think so but uh i discussed this with eddie uh from eddie papani from the morning show he's been on my podcast before if you've never listened to the morning show that i work for and uh, he agreed to appear on the podcast to discuss the game we specifically decided on Thursday because we both wanted to be a little bit more in it. Um, we have somewhat differing takes on it so far, but uh, we will discuss that everything, like I said, on Thursday. So we won't do the whole game, but it will have spoilers. So if you want to hear our immediate takes, I'm going to finish the game. Like I'm going to I'm gonna finish the whole game, and then I'll, I'll give my full review uh, on, on, uh, oh, with, uh, <laughs> with spoilers and everything. But uh, yeah, it's it's been it's been a ride so far. So you can look forward to that. Like I said, on Thursday, if you want to join, Eddie Papani will join me, and we will discuss The Last of Us Part Two. So a actually a beloved actor died over the weekend. I don't I don't think it make made any major news, but uh, actor Ian Holm uh, passed away. For those of you who don't know who Ian Holm is, you you do know who he is. Uh, he played Bilbo. On the Lord of the Rings, the 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 first trilogy, Lord of the Rings, not not the Hobbit movies, though, though he does make an appearance. Yeah, Bilbo. Um, he also he's he did had another iconic role in on several movies. Like if you ever saw the movie From Hell, great movie, highly recommend it. He also appeared in the Fifth Element, and he played Ash in the original Alien movie. He was probably the actor with the best lines in the whole movie. He also appeared in you know, various plays. He appeared in he appeared in Chariots of Fire. Honestly, dude had a pretty good career. And but but the thing that I'll always remember him for and what'll keep him close to my heart will be Bilbo Baggins. That's that's it. So uh the news is this there's his agent put out a statement. It is with great sadness that the actor Sir Ian Holm C B E passed away this morning at the age of eighty eight. He died peacefully in hospital with his family and carer. Um, he added that, uh, he died from a Parkinson's related disease. Uh, he was charming, kind, ferociously talented. We will miss him hugely. So, Surian Holm, I didn't know he was Surian Holm. I guess it makes sense now. But, uh, you shall be missed. You, you, you left the, behind a pretty great legacy. Uh, the greatest trilogy of all time. You're a, a key part of it. He's also part of maybe the greatest sci-fi movie of all time. It's debatable, I know, debatable, but uh, honestly, a great career. Uh, and from what I've heard, I've never really heard any controversies coming from him. So probably a pretty good life. He sounds like he was surrounded by family, which is kind of what you want to go. Not with Parkinson's though, but um, well, it's sad. It's just sad. But uh, moving on, uh, there's some pretty interesting news in the DC world. There's been a lot of DC world news lately i don't know why i don't know if it's just marvel's been extra quiet or dc is just in shambles and we hear something new every single day it's weird but this one could be kind of exciting and at the same time it's extremely confusing so uh I'll, I'll, the headline here is that uh michael keaton actor michael keaton you know who played uh batman in the tim burton movies the the tim burton and version of batman and batman returns he is in talks to play Bruce Wayne once again, but this time in the Flash movie. Now, the Flash movie has been a major clusterfuck. Um, they can't seem to get their shit together. They announced this movie all the way back in 2014, and they've changed directors like three, four times. 
Uh, right now, uh, the the writer director for the project is director Andy Muschietti, who you may most recently you you may know his work. Uh, he he directed it and it chapter two. So he's the he's the dude who's uh, negotiating uh, with Michael Keaton right now. And though the part itself is kind of weird. So like like I said, Michael Keaton may play. Bruce Wayne. So he's in negotiations not to play Batman, but to play Bruce Wayne. But this is extremely weird. And uh, the reason why it's really weird is that it's been reported that what's happened, well, well, the Flash movie, it's going to follow the storyline called Flashpoint Paradox. Now, Flashpoint Paradox is probably my favorite Flash storyline. It's great. There's actually an animated movie about it. I highly recommend it. It's in my it was in my top 10 of the best uh, superhero movies out there. The gist of it is that uh, the the Flash, Barry Allen, wakes up in a world that's different, and he's the only one that remembers the way it should be. So so a lot of major things are different. For example, uh, Wonder Woman and, uh, and Aquaman are in a war that's destroying the world. Uh, Superman never landed in Kansas. He landed in Metropolis. And a big thing, a big big major part here is that Batman is not Bruce Wayne in this world this particular Batman and I guess I should should have said spoiler alert but uh I don't think it's a major spoiler here but whatever anyway in this world Batman is not Bruce Wayne it is actually Thomas Wayne Bruce Wayne's father so what happened here is that instead of Bruce Wayne's parents getting killed it's actually Bruce Wayne that gets killed and so Thomas Wayne becomes Batman Strangely enough, Martha Wayne, you know, Bruce Wayne's mother, she turns she becomes into that world's joker. So, it's it's really weird for them to be casting Michael Keaton as Bruce Wayne in a story where Bruce Wayne is doesn't make it into adulthood. Now, of course, they the story begins showing you the normal world like the normal Batman, but they why wouldn't they just use let's say if you're going to keep things like the normal, quote-unquote, normal Batman, why wouldn't you just keep Ben Affleck? Or why don't you use, you know, Robert Pattinson, you know, the guy who is actually the newest Batman right now? So it's all very confusing to me. It's all a major clusterfuck. Why? If I have to guess, I'm... All right, I'm going I'm to go ahead and speculate here. If they want Michael Keaton to come back as Bruce Wayne, then it's possible then that they're not they're not trying to recreate flashpoint paradox they're trying to do something similar but different at the same time you know it's like all right we're gonna follow like the structure of flashpoint that the flash wakes up in a different world or a world that's different and so i don't think that changing ben affleck for for michael keaton would be different enough um what there has to be something major because who's who's going to be batman in that world is is it going to be Robert Pattinson? Would Robert Pattinson actually be playing um, Dick Grayson? I don't think so. That would be stupid. Uh, Dick Grayson, by the way, is Nightwing or or the original Robin. Because um, I mean, Michael Keaton's no spring chicken. Would it actually be a futuristic Batman? Could we actually get a Batman Beyond version? So, so Michael Keaton would actually be playing an older Bruce Wayne who is the mentor of the new Batman, Terry McGinnis. Now, this one actually would be a little bit more likely because there's been there's been a lot of uh let's say fan uh fan demand fan requests for a terry mcginnis storyline with michael keaton uh people want this i think it would actually be a lot of fun but just shoving them into a flash movie seems like a waste like you could actually do its own thing like clearly dc does not give a fuck about (laughs) the continuity within its universe clearly so if you're going to be doing solo stuff randomly why not just do like a random batman movie well batman beyond movie with michael keaton and terry mcginnis however all right that's that's option one and that they're gonna just you know shove terry mcginnis in there in the middle of flashpoint again keaton hasn't signed on to anything and this flash movie is still a gigantic question mark we it has it hasn't progressed at all and honestly i think it's a bit too soon for it uh i think they might be rushing it a bit to for flashpoint flashpoint needs to requires at least a little bit of build up 
or to make it a uh, more interesting. But uh, we'll see. Also, just uh, Michael Keaton wouldn't be enough. You have you would actually need all the members of the Justice League to make an appearance for it. So, like, I, honestly, that would be like an Avengers level type of movie. Like, that's how big it should be. It should have been like the Justice League movie for the Justice League. But um, just a, a solo Flash movie does not seem adequate. Let's just put it. Let's just leave it that way. But uh, what other what other uses could they have? What what, what could a, a just a solo Bruce Wayne? Michael Keaton have in this world they, who who could be Batman or is there even a Batman that might be the other option which honestly seems kind of lame like uh imagine you're the flash and uh first off they need uh, I, th- it's too early for this it's too early for the flashpoint because you need to you need to set up the anti-flash you need to set up a whole bunch of stuff which they haven't so at and what what are they planning on doing making uh like the Flash wake up in a different world where Bruce Wayne is just Bruce Wayne. Maybe his parents never died, and so he never becomes Batman. So he's just what kind of like a Lex Luthor type character. He might actually be the villain, <laughs> which would be nuts. Um, I guess that could be fun to watch, but it's not Flashpoint. So why are you, why are you burning this cartridge? I don't know. It sounds fun on the surface. It sounds fun seeing Batman. Oh well, seeing Michael Keaton don the cape again, but he's not going to, or at least. In negotiations, it doesn't seem like it's going to be. Maybe this is all this is all misdirection. Maybe he would actually be playing Thomas Wayne. I don't know, but dude, D- seriously, get your shit together. Seriously, you have you have more than enough money. You have more more than enough uh, people, uh, very talented people who love your um, your creations. Like seriously, just get your shit together. Get an adult in the room and make people start. You know. Focusing, even if you have to, you don't even have to start from scratch. You actually, actually, now that I think about it, this just hit me. They could be using Flashpoint to kind of fix all their fuck ups. Because the, for those of you who mm, don't know this, the Flash uh, tends to fuck up the timeline a lot. Uh, timeline a lot, and so if you got a whole bunch of a really uh, a universe that's like really chaotic. Maybe using the flash to kind of try to fix it would make a little bit more sense. It would actually make a lot more sense, but still, is it too little, too late? Is it too much? Uh, mixing universes that way. I mean, because they already did Crisis on Infinite Earths on the CW. Now this is just this is just bullshit. Like this is just too much. I, I don't think I don't think they're they're thinking like that big. Unfortunately. It hurts my heart to say it because most of my favorite superheroes are from DC. But uh, they need to get their fucking act together like very quickly. Michael, Like I said, Michael Keaton as Batman sounds really exciting. Uh, a Flash movie based on Flashpoint sounds really exciting. But so far they haven't proven that they can actually do it, that they can pull it off. Like I'm, I'm really excited to see the new Justice League, the, the one with Zack Snyder. Because at least the Zack Snyder movies have uh, logic to it. And, and it's within a certain universe. But oh man, I'm. I want to be enthusiastic, but I don't think that. Uh, I don't. Well, first off, I don't think it's even going to happen. We've been waiting too long for this Flash movie, and the uni- and the the DC universe keeps getting worse and worse. But uh, we'll see because there's a lot of money on the table, and usually when there's an opportunity to make money, things get made. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. That's it for today. As always, any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can find me at Dar the Show on Instagram or at Super Dar Period World. Remember, Eddie will be joining me on Thursday. We will be discussing The Last of Us Part 2. As always, thank you for listening, and I'll see you again next time.